Right, welcome back. So I made changes to the topology. Now it should be looking good. So now let's move forward with the templates. Now we will be looking at to the service templates. So now the templates. So any templates which are defined under the VPN zero, those are transport ones. And these will be always encrypted. So whatever the interfaces I define within this one, all will be encrypted. And another thing is that whatever I defined except zero and 512, except these two, if I use any number from one to 511, then 513 to 65,535. So any number I am using for the VPN, that, that VPN is known as a service VPN. The only difference here is that we do not encrypt any of those interfaces over here. No encryption has been done because these are already inside your network. So that's the reason we do not encrypt the traffic. So basically whatever is defined in the VPN zero, everything will be known as a transport and transport means we are encrypting the traffic. So now VPN one and VPN two, we do not require to encrypt the traffic because they are already inside the network. Now the feature templates, again, the same thing, resemblance VPN one, VPN two, then we configure the interfaces and we also configure the OSPF as a feature template. Now, the only thing is that we have to define the interfaces respectively on the VPN one and VPN two. That's the only difference. Now, before you go ahead and push the service template, so if you go back to the vManage now, <clears throat> so if I click over here, VH devices. So on the VH devices, you see that the mode are CLI. So let me refresh this page once. So the all the branches currently are on their respective CLI. So I need to make this branch device as a vManage mode. So I need to configure those templates. So vH. Right, so let's make this CLI mode as a vManage mode. So to do that one, I will, again, I'm going to do the same thing. Go to the configuration and go to templates. And again, if you remember while creating the vBond, we already created the VPN 0, VPN 5 to L. So if I go back here, so these many templates are already been created. So the only extra thing which we have to create is a gig zero slash one interface. That's all. So I will go ahead and copy that one and I will say that it should be gig zero slash one. And now I will edit the gig zero slash one. So almost my templates are ready now.
So I will change the interface geek zero slash one. Geek zero slash one. And here geek zero slash one. And that's all. Click on update. <laughs> so for the basic, everything is been created. So first I will change that mode to the vManage mode. Then we will go ahead and configure the service VPN. Now coming with the device one. So if you see that the requirement, my branch one and branch four, both of them are similar in topology. So I can use only one device template for both of them. Coming to branch two and branch three, you see that they are totally different topologies. So we are going to use separate device templates for both of them. So first I will go with the branch one and four. So I will create a template from feature template. I will select the VH cloud. Node type as the edge node. And I will say that branch one and branch four device template. Copy and paste. And the system edge AAA server I do have already, so I will select it. VPN zero I do have one, and I need to have two interfaces, so I will select two of them. Geek zero slash zero and zero slash one. VPN five twelve we already created, and VPN interface will be ETH zero. And now click on create. And after that, I will attach it to branch one and four. So this is the template. So I will go ahead and attach devices. So I will select branch one and branch four and both of them attach, attach. So now first we will uh, edit the branch one. So the ETH IP address will be 150.1.7.71 slash 24. Uh, next up will be 220.100.1.254 and 172.100.1.254. Color for gig zero slash one, that will be MPLS and IP address will be 172.100.1.1 slash 24. Color for gig zero slash zero is business and 220.100.1.1 slash 24. System IP will be 100.1.1.1. Site ID will be one and host name will be branch one. I'll do the same thing for branch four now. So 150.1.7.74 slash 24. Next up will be 220.100.1.254 and 172.100.1.254. Gig zero slash one will be MPLS and 172.100.1.4 slash 24. Gig zero slash zero is business and 220.100.1.4 slash 24. System IP will be 100.1.1.4. Site ID will be number four. Host name will be branch four. So click on update, click on next and click on configure. You see that we are sending to multiple devices. So that's why it's confirming now. Click on okay. Now it does take a time until it push the configuration. So until then we will configure the next device template that is branch two. So create a template from feature templates. So I will go to VH cloud HDVAN and this would be the branch to device template coming to the branch to we do have the both the interfaces select the system select the AAA VPN 0 two interfaces geek 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 and that should be VPN 512 and gig ETH zero. Click on create.
Sorry, <laughs> still loading. The branch to device template is ready, so I will go ahead and attach. That should be branch two, selected, attach. Right, so click on edit. Second eighty eight zero one fifty dot one dot seven dot seventy two slash twenty four. Next up will be two twenty dot hundred dot one dot two fifty four and one seventy two hundred dot one dot two fifty four. And gig zero slash one color will be MPLS and one seventy two hundred dot one dot two slash twenty four. Business internet two twenty dot hundred dot one dot two slash twenty four. System IP will be 100.1.1.2, site ID will be 2, host name will be branch 2, time zone will be Australia and Hobart. And click on update. Click on next. And click on configure. Right, so if I click over here, because I have already pushed the template for branch one and four. So it looks like that has been finished and we it's pushing now the branch two. And it is showing only one here, that should be good. Let's verify that one, just let's go to the device. And branch one and four, you see that it is vManage. So currently I'm sending for branch two now. So I'll go back to the templates now. Now coming to the branch three now, you see that I do have only one interfaces over here. One belongs to the business internet, another belongs to the MPLs. So let's go ahead and create that template now, device template. Okay, branch three, A dash B device template. I will select the same triple A VPN zero. It's only one interface that is gig zero slash zero. VPN five to L that is ETA zero and create. All right, so it's just it's taking time to load. All right, so device template has been created. So let's go and attach the device now. So I will be selecting branch 3 A and B. Attach. All right, so let's configure the A1 first. Now this one will be 150.1.7.73 slash 24 gig zero slash zero. Now, if you remember that uh, while we configuring the templates, I told that I'm going to configure this as a device specific. If you remember, 
it's because now i am using the same interface but i am going to assign the different colors so branch 3a will be using the business internet but gig 0 slash 0 but branch branch 3b will be using the same interface gig 0 slash 0 but the mpls network so here the color will be business internet and the address will be 220.100.1.3 slash 24 system ip will be 100.1.1.3 site id will be three host name will be branch 3a time zone will be australia all right the other thing is that it did not ask me the default gateway now that's the problem so that means something wrong has something wrong i have done so I'll go back to my branch and I will click on edit. And you see that I did not select the VPN zero. So that's the reason it did not ask me the default gateway. So these are the things you have to pretty much keep in mind when something is not showing up. And I will go ahead and attach the devices now. So let's go ahead and edit one more time. It should be 150.1.7.73 slash 24. And next up will be two. This one is a ISP, a business internet 1.254. Since I have only one default gateway, so I will again, once again, provide the same details over here. So yeah, that should be 254. Color should be business internet. Gig 0 slash 0 will be 220.100.1.3 slash 24. System IP will be 100.1.1.3. Site ID will be 3. Branch name will be 3. Branch 3A. And time zone will be Australia. How about? Now the same thing for the branch B. That should be 150.1.7.83 if you remember. And this one should be 170.200.1.254. The same thing. And this one should be MPLS. Now, 170.200.1.3 slash 24. 100.1.1.33. Site ID will be the same. Branch 3B. Time zone will be Australia. And Hobart. Click on update. Click on next. Now click on configure. Now again, we are sending to multiple devices. So that's why it is confirming. Click on OK. Now it's going to push the template. So for now, my branch one is the vManage mode. Branch four is the vManage mode and branch two is also currently vManage mode, as well as my CSR router is also in the vManage mode. So I can go ahead and configure the service VPN. So let's go ahead and configure the service VPN one. So I will configure only one for now, then I will configure the two. So now coming to the VPN one, on the VPN one, in the branch one, it is GE zero slash three. For the branch two, it is GE zero slash two. And for the branch three, both of them, that is GE zero slash three. And for the branch four, it is GE0 slash 2. So basically, two devices are having gig 0 slash 2 and two devices are having gig 0 slash 3. So first, I will go ahead and configure GE0 slash 2 and 3 interfaces and the VPN1. So first, I will go ahead to the templates. Go to the feature templates add the template or I can copy that uh, VPN 512 template. That's the best one to copy. I will select the VH cloud and I will select the VPN. Right, so let's give the name now. 
it should be VH VPN one. So here I will select the VPN one and I will set the global name as service VPN one. And apart from that, I am not providing any default gateway, nothing. So click on save. So the VPN one has been configured. So next thing is that I need the gig zero slash two and zero slash three. So I will go ahead, click on add template. VH cloud and VPN interface ethernet. Now this one will be the VH GE02 interface and I will say no shed and I will select G0 slash 2 IP address I will put it as a default uh, device specific so I will say VH G02 IP address and apart from that we are not encrypting the traffic so nothing to worry we are not doing natic VRRP nothing so click on save And the next one is the gig zero slash three. Yeah. So I will just copy that one now. Zero slash three, three and copy. Gig zero slash three, it's over here. Edit that one. So I will change that to gig zero slash three and change it to IP address. Gig zero slash three and update. Now coming to the topology now, it will be a problem for me to configure certain things now. How? Because here VPN one is gig zero slash two, but here VPN one is gig zero slash three. So I need to set right this one. Otherwise what happens is like whenever I define the VPN one, so I'm going to define the gig zero slash two that is okay for branch four, but not okay for branch one. So that's the reason I need to add attach one more interface that is gig zero slash three. Then again, inside the VPN one, both the interface will be defined. So to overcome this problem, what I have to do is that I need to change that interfaces now. So gig zero slash two and gig zero slash two should be matching over here because I'm using the same template. So that's the reason it should be matching. So I'll go back to my topology now and gig zero slash uh, sorry for the branch one gig zero slash three going to the line one so i will delete that one delete that one and i will select gig zero slash two going to branch line one and gig zero slash three going to LAN two. The topology say stays the same. The only thing is that we just swap the interfaces, nothing else. All right, so let's continue with that one now. Now, the other thing is that I configured the VPN one is done. So I have configured the VPN one and I've also configured the gig zero slash two gig zero slash three also which we required and i also need to configure now the ospf so let's go back to the ospf add the device template sorry feature template for the vh cloud and at the bottom you should have an option for ospf template so i would say that vh ospf 
now router id keep it as a default redistribute yes because uh, whatever we are having over here the whole thing this is known as a omp we will come back to that one later on so this is the ospf over here so whenever the ospf routes have been transferred to the shared on the omp we need to redistribute this ospf into the omp routes so in that way what happens is that omp will detect the routes and it will transfer to the other devices so we need to do the redistribute definitely into the omp click on add now coming to the area now now if you remember that vpn1 i am using the area 0 but vpn2 i am using the area 1 so i will keep this one as a device specific so that i can use it for both the vpns vh or spf area and uh, interface yes i'm going to add the interface add the interface and here i will also select the device specific because I'm going to use for the VH VPN2 also. Interface and click on add. So all in all the VPNs, I do have only one interface. So that's the reason I'm defining only one interface here. Click on add. And apart from that, nothing else. Click on save so those are the different features we do required so all of them are ready now let's go ahead and configure the service vpn go back to the device template now so first we will configure the branch one and four this is the one click on edit now i will go directly to the service vpn now so click on add on service vpn select the vpn one click on next I want to add the VPN interface. Within that VPN, I want to add the interface as well as the OSPF. Select the OSPF and select the gig zero slash two, add. And click on update. And now it should ask you to provide the values. So for the VPN one, uh, branch one, VPN one, we are going with the 192.168.1.254. So I will select the branch one, click on edit, and you see that gig zero slash two, that should be 192.168.1.254 slash 24. OSPF interface, that should be GE zero slash two, area will be zero. Click on update. The other thing will be the branch four, that should be 192.168.1.254. Slash 24 interface will be GE 0 slash 2 and area will be 0. Now it should be GE 0 slash 2. Do not uh, type the whole thing gigabyte Ethernet. No, for the VH, it should be only GE 0 slash 2. Click on update, click on next, and click on configure. Confirm that one, click on OK. Let's go ahead with the branch two now. On the branch two, again, we do have only one VPN. So let's go ahead and configure that one now. I will go back to the templates. And on the device template, select the branch two one, click on edit. And go for the service VPN, click on add VPN. Select the VPN one. And I do have only one interface and one OSPF. Select the OSPF, select the interface that should be gig zero slash two. And click on add. So click on update.
Uh, it's still loading. Right, so branch two, click on edit device template. So select the 192.168.2.1 slash 254 slash 24. Interface will be G0 slash two, area will be zero. Click on update. So click on next, click on configure. So branch two is also done. The only thing is that the branch three A and B are left. And again on the branch three A and B, you see that we do have the IP address are different, 252 and 253 on the 192.168.3.0 network. So let's go back to the templates. Under the device templates, I will select the branch three A and B, selected it. Go back to the service VPN, click on add, and I'll select that one, and click on next. Select the VPN interface, select the OSPF. OSPF, VPN will be geek zero slash three, click on add, update. So I will edit the branch A, 192.168.3.252 slash 24. Interface will be G0 slash 3, area will be 0. Click on update, click on edit. This one will be 192.168.3.253 slash 24. GE0 slash 0. Hint. OSPF zero, click on update, next, and configure the devices. Confirm it, click on okay. Now, if you remember that we have already configured for the branch one, two, and four, so that means that I should have the OSPF neighbor shift with respect to these all three routers. So let's go to the branch one, and you see that I already do have the neighbor ship. So if I say that show IP OSPF neighbor, it's on full BDR. So branch to LAN, again, I do have the neighbor ship. So IP or SPF neighbor, I do have the full neighbor ship. Branch three, we are still standing. Branch four, yes. Show IP or SPF neighbor, I do have the full neighbor ship. And now once we send the branch three also, then I should have the neighbor ship for the branch three. And after that, I should see all the prefixes within these routers, which are on the VPN one. So all the VPN one routers, I should be able to see. So until then, let's configure the CSR DC one. So I'll go back to the templates, go back to the feature templates, click on add template and select the CSR. And I will select the Cisco VPN because I want to create the VPN one. We'll select CSR VPN one. I will select the VPN one and I will give a name as service VPN one. So there is nothing else to configure on this one. Just click on save. Now the other feature template will be under the VPN one that is gig three. I need to define this one as well as the OSPF. So I'll go to add term feature template, select the CSR and I will select the VPN interface. CSR, gig three. No, I will select the gigabyte Ethernet three. And the IP address should be 
csr g3 ip address and we are not configuring uh, not encrypting the traffic then the config should be good so click on save the other thing is that i need to add it for the ospf now and if you scroll down i should see ospf template so this is the one cisco ospf and i will select csr ospf router id i will give it a dish uh, default everything i will select the redistribution that should be done on omp click on add and coming to the area yes i want to define it specific because i am going to use the same template for the vpn2 area and interface i do have only one interface so i will define it as a device specific again and click on add click on add and click on save that should be good and now that i am ready with the feature templates now i will go back to the device one and go back to the csr dc click on edit go back to the service vpn click on add vpn select the vpn one click on next select the ospf as well as the vpn interface select ospf select gigabyte 3 click on add and click on update so if i go back here it says that 192.168.5.0 network So I'll click on edit and here I will type in 192.168.5.254.24 interface will be again I have to be careful over here as I said I will go back to csrdc admin admin show IP interface brief so I need to copy this exactly over here. And that should be three. OSPF area will be zero. Click on update, click on next. And now click on configure the device. So now it is going to push the templates. So, so far we have done the VPN one, we have completed. The only thing is that now we have to verify that from the branch one router, I should see the 20 prefixes, 30 prefixes and 40 prefixes once this template has been pushed i should also see the 50 prefixes so let's verify that one now so i will go to branch one lan one so if i say that show ip route to spf and now you see that so i do have the 20 prefixes i do have the 40 prefixes but i do not have the 30 prefixes yet so if i go back to branch three lan Never ship is form. Yep, show IP route to SPF. Okay. Let me cross check that configuration now. Go back to templates. And if I select this one, I will say change device values. And also if I go back to my geek zero slash three, geek zero slash three, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, everything seems to be good, but All right, so it is having only one neighborship with the branch 3A, but it did not have the neighborship with branch 3B. Two 
253 yep i am able to ping but uh, it is not able to form the neighborship okay that's fine and let me look for the dcsr dc okay edit device templates gig 0 slash 3 that seems to be fine and gig 0 slash 3 and seems to be fine so there is no issues with the configuration now the csr router it is still pushing i think the template is still pushing so the vmanage is still pushing the csr router template now the only thing is that I am not only able to see this prefix, apart from that, everything I am able to see 20 and 40. And if I go to my branch one, so if I say that do ping, or if I say that ping 40.1.1.1 with source loop back zero, I am able to ping. So all the connectivity is there except this uh, branch three. And that too, because we do have the two interfaces over here. So I just need to do some configuration on the switch in order to make it work. Now, again, this says that device became unreachable. Okay. Now, if you remember that for the CSR router, it uh, rejected the certificates. So that's the reason it is. it was not able to push the config now. But once we reboot the vManage and reboot the CSR DC, it should again connect to authenticate with the vManage and it should issue the certificate. So once the certificate has been issued and installed, then only it will accept the configuration from the vManage. So that was what the service VPN one. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.